Okay, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Let's go find Naramo. Tell him we are. How dare you, Kamet. Your mother wanted a better future for you. Because a back totem with delusions of grandeur told her fortune. Do you really believe that? She believed it. Why can't you see? See what? We'll look into that later. Right now we need to talk to Narama and uh, advance the story. Alright, let me see what you found. Yes, I believe these recordings correspond to the dates of the disappearances. There's something more. Look here. The last person to access the records was a BAL-167. Huh. Circumstantial at best. Yeah, how do you suppose we find this BAL-167? We might already have a lead. I shared Varuni's concerns with Kirath shortly after you left the Basilica, and she insisted on looking into the matter herself. She cited Constable Baldon as a person of interest. His office should be southwest of here. Okay, so Bal 167 is Constable Baldon. I'll track down Kirith and see what she's found. We're gonna take a lot of time to explore this whole interior city here. And just find out where everything is. Oh, there's a new trial. I've only done one trial so far. There are like 12 player dungeons. They're a lot of fun. Maybe someday I can record those and show them to you. Ah, there you are. Done playing with Naramo's wind-up toys? I think I'm onto something. What have you learned? I did a little asking around. Word is, Constable Baldan will sponsor anyone as long as they can pay. Where they go after he takes their gold, that's anybody's guess. Luckily, we're here to sort it out. Here, take this memory stone. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? I surveyed the building. Someone left the door to Baldan's storage loft unlocked. It should provide a great view of his office. Climb up there and wait. When I offer a bribe, you record the conversation on that memory stone. Then we've got him. All right, I'll make my way to the loft and wait for your signal. for citizenship. Oh, I'll take your offering. But sponsorship? That's for the living, you tarnished scum. The living what? Do it. Well, what are you idling for? Gather up the gold and dump her with the others. We don't want anyone finding our latest visitor. Interesting. So that's what he has been doing to everyone. There you are. Naramo said you'd be around here somewhere. Have you seen Kirith? Is she with you? I'm sorry, but Constable Baldon's thugs knocked her out and dragged her off. He what? How could she... We have to rescue her. You don't have any idea where they took her, do you? Not yet, but I'll find out. You tell Varuni and Naramo. Yes, of course. I'll get help. Maybe I could even put together some kind of tonal locator. Bah! Not enough time. What would Kirith do? She would investigate. Yes. Talk to the people in Slagtown. They know practically everything about this place. All right, I'll find her. I'll get the others. You hurry off to Slagtown. What is Slagtown exactly? That's what the locals call the slums in the northeast corner of the fortress. I must admit, I was surprised to find a tenement like that in Sothisil's holy city. Then again, practically everything here has come as a surprise. All right. Yeah! 
How dare you come it? You must Speaking of which, we need to get our right upgrade. Now For fortune. Do you really believe that? She believed it. Why can't you see? See what? That following the predictions of a deluded machine got my mother killed. Ah, oil those ankles and keep walking, green heel. This one has nothing to say to you. I'm looking for a dark health. Baldon's thugs might have dragged it through here. Did you know, do you know anything? Feh. You outsiders are all the same. Cutting into the queues, poaching our salvage, sneering and putting on airs. You're no better than us. Would you still feel that way if I snapped both your legs? And so you prove my point. Always trouble, always violence. And poor Saiba is caught in the middle. This on you. Valdan probably threw your friend into the fundament. A maze beneath the city. If you go after her, neither of you will come out again. Yeah, we just might surprise you. So where's the mechanical fundament? Is this a hostile area? I didn't know this area was hostile. So let's discover this and put it on the map. What's this place? Restricted Brassworks. There has to be an entrance here somewhere. Okay, discovered. We'll go in there at some other point right now. attacking. Let's uh, let's just uh, this put this trial on the map. I guess to go it to put it on the map we would have to go in here. seem to discover that trial. All right, let's just head back. We'll try to do this some other time.
like me. found her already. Threw you in here too, did they? I knew I couldn't be the only one Constable Baldan got the drop on. Actually, I came down here to find you. We should leave. You're right, we should. And I could, but not yet. I met another one of Baldan's victims, a Khajiit named Lankin. He's been scraping it out down here, but he's no warrior. I told him I'd get him out. Unfortunately, we got separated. All right, we can look for him. That's the spirit. I managed to yank this sword out of a corpse nearby. It's not much, but you don't need a sharp edge to deal with these factotums. Just a heavy swing and a lot of patience. You ready? Let's get moving. I still have my weapons, so I'm not going to be needing that. body's far too old. Let's keep looking. We worked our skills just a little bit. I'm still debating. I don't think I need to have the... I don't think I need to have this on both bars. What I can possibly do is replace it with um, Mystic Orb. actually want it on here. Him. Decent hiding place, but no Lankeen. We should keep looking. Is any of these guys going to come to life?
Another empty camp. Damn. He must be here somewhere. Let me take a look and see where they want us to go. Let's just go straight through. the same character is it? It looks like it is. Is that a pot on the stove? Someone was cooking. And recently. We must be close. Lankin, we're getting you out of here. Friend Kirith, bright moons above. Please, let's leave this dungy place. Yep, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, let's see. Big drop. suppose you found anything of interest down there? Enough. I'm glad to see you weren't lying, Rain Arvados. That bastard, Baldan, threw me into the fundament. <sighs> Ridiculous. I've never seen this woman in my life. Liar! You tossed this one in as well! <laughs> it's getting interesting now. This Rain Arvados made some very bold claims. If you have evidence of Constable Baldan's crimes, I suggest you produce it. Well, I captured Kirith's abduction on this memory stone. Narama has incriminate, incriminating documents, too. Huh. You're more resourceful than you look. Little wonder Devaith chose you as his companion. Set knows he needs the help. I'll hold Baldan under guard until I've had an opportunity to review the evidence. As for you, you're free to go. Well, thank you. Luciana? I'd like to ask the constable a few questions when we return to the Basilica. Don't trouble yourself, Aruni. You know how persuasive I can be. I do. That's what worries me. Do your worst, you tin-legged hag. Set help you if she does, constable. <laughs> that fool has no idea what he's in for. Live uncomfortably and learn, I suppose. Uh, you think he knows more than he's letting on? Oh, most certainly. Baldan can't have accomplished all this by himself. Erasing records? Accessing derelict sections of the Fundament? These aren't the acts of a simple mur. Someone helped him. Now it's just a matter of finding out who. Do you think he'll talk? I do. One way or another. For now, let's celebrate your achievement. You showed initiative, creativity, bravery, all qualities befitting a servant of Set. You shall have my sponsorship. Will you sponsor Narama Raynar and Kirith as well? Of course. Each of them played a role in your success, and each of them will share the rewards. Go speak to the Clockwork Registrar in the Chancel of Records. 
It will add your name to the codices, and you'll be one of us. Again, you have my thanks. You're welcome. You'll regret this. Mark me, Proctor. You will regret this. I doubt that. Get this tarnished piece of scrap out of my sight. Enjoy prison, you scheming brat. Ah, oh, it seems I arrived just in time. For a second there, it looked like they were going to attack him. Where, where would the registrar be? I'm here to register as a citizen. Welcome, potential resident. Please speak your birth name, followed by the name of your sponsor. You know the deal. Dreaming. Torch bugs. Overturned jar. Sponsorship confirmed what? and archived. The light of knowledge, so the seal, welcomes you to the brass fortress. Go forth and create. I'd say that all worked out splendidly. As one journey ends, another begins. I imagine there's much more to discover here in Sothasil's clockwork city. So what's next for you? I can finally begin my exploration in earnest. Now that we've earned our citizenship, I can apply for excavation permits. Antiquity transportation licenses. Oh dear. Come to think of it, I might not be able to begin for quite some time. So what about Raynor and Kirith? They proved useful. Raynor's theories need some work, and Kirith's refusal to listen to reason caused me no small measure of anxiety. But on the whole, satisfactory. Provided that they follow my lead, I might call on them again in the future. All right, see you later. I value your service and partnership, Assistant. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. If I understand the bureaucracy correctly, I may be here in the Brass Fortress for a while. Feel free to seek me out, should you require my aid. Okay, we'll get another skill point. There you are. Good. We have much to discuss. Do they fear? Here? It is a true pleasure to meet you. Yes, yes, I, I imagine it is now, and I'll be on your way. Yes. Well, uh, be seeing you, assistant. Good day, Lord Fear. Come, we need to talk. Dark elves and high elves are so full of themselves, it's unbelievable. So you're a citizen now. Well done. I heard something about a constable tossing people down sewer drains. Even in this shrine to knowledge, drooling idiots bumble their way to power. <laughs> Ludicrous. Moving on, I require your services once more. What do you need? It's Sotha Seal. Shortly after you and I parted company, I sought him out to discuss our Daedric artifact. I fear something is askew. His habits, his diction, the, the timbre of his voice. 
They've all changed, albeit subtly. You think something is wrong with him? Worse. Initially, I dismissed it as boredom, fatigue, or even the first signs of senility. But now, after observing him at length, I can say with certainty, this is not the Sotha seal I know. There's Daedric mischief here, and we will root it out. So how do we go about doing that? We will leverage your hard-earned citizenship to make inquiries. First, I will make it known that in light of your recent exploits, I offered to take you on as my aid, an offer you eagerly accepted. So how does me becoming your aid help us uh, investigate Sotha Thil? As the most powerful mage in the Brast Fortress, I find it difficult to have proper conversations with common folk. They grow silent at my approach, then whisper as I leave. An appropriate, but sadly uninformative, display of deference. So you want me to talk to the other aides? Indeed. It's commonly understood that servants grumble about their masters, loudly, to those they consider equals. Ask them about Sotha Seal's recent behavior. I'm confident we'll find something of value tucked away in their churlish complaints. All right, I'll talk to the other aides. You have questions, of course. Ask what you must. The forces at work here are cunning indeed. You should be prepared for anything. So is Proctor still insisting that you leave the city? Luciana resents my presence, but she's no fool. I go where I please, when I please. An open confrontation between us would likely leave hundreds dead. So do not trouble yourself. She will not stand in the way of our investigation. Just finally, how can you be sure something is wrong with Sosa Seal? He is inscrutable. But he's also unflinching. Seal always moves deliberately, quietly, and one step at a time, like clockwork. I have never once seen him divert from his course. Until now. How has he diverted? In the short time we've been here, he has twice adjusted city patrol routes and delivered three revisions to the fortress charter. Trust me when I say this is unprecedented. So the seal never meddles like this. Has he made any other changes? That's for you to discover. Don't bother speaking with members of the Congress. Varuni's faith in Sotha Seal is unbreakable. Chancellor Gascon resents any threat to the status quo. And Luciana, huh. well, let's just say she's been less than helped. So what can you tell me about the others in a Seal circle? Well, you've met Varuni. She's pleasant without being vapid or boring. Then again, her doe-eyed faith in Sotha Seal turns my stomach. I find religious attachments repulsive. My thoughts on Luciana are well known. As for Gascon... Go on. Gascon serves as Chancellor. He commands respect, but suffers from the peculiar character flaw of demanding praise at all times. Adulation. A sad fixation indeed. He holds great power. But it's his petty obsessions that make him dangerous. Be wary. All right, so it sounds like uh, so the Sil is under attack, just like Vivek was in Morrowind. Okay, so we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll start piecing this together. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to pursue the main story of the Clockwork City from beginning to end. Uh, I will not divert at all until we've uh, finished the main story. Then once we've finished the main story, then we'll come back and take on all the delves all the side quests and do some more exploration as well. So, I'm gonna take a break here. We'll be right back with more Elder Scrolls Online. 